End of the line for the Michigan Wolverines. They finished this season a Sweet 16 team, but having never won more than three straight games all year. Uh, Villanova advances to the Elite Eight with a 63-55 victory over Michigan. It seemed like there was a lid on the rim most of the night for Michigan. Shot just 34% from the field. Michigan had the Wildcats, we thought, right where they wanted them. They trailed by three at half. Michigan trailed both of their first two games in the tournament at the break. Hunter Dickinson was a force, 15 points, 15 rebounds, but boy, he missed some bunnies inside. They still hung with Villanova, but midway through the second half, Wildcats found their shot. Jermaine Samuels, 22 points, and the second seed Villanova Wildcats win the game 63-55. to Marley Weirda is in, in San Antonio covering the Wolverines for us. She joins us live. Marley, uh, you were there. Was there a lid on that rim in the second half for Michigan? Yeah, Jack, there certainly certainly could have been, and the tough part about it for Michigan and Wolverines fans is that this was certainly a winnable game for them, but 50% shooting from the free throw line and more than a dozen missed layups was enough to make a difference and send Villanova to that elite eight. But Eli Brooks put his heart and soul into this game, doing everything he could to give Michigan that chance. He shot two clutch three-pointers in that second half to make it a six point game but what followed was a four minute shooting drought for Michigan and only shooting two field goals in those final four minutes of the game you know that's not going to be enough to win it so Michigan certainly disappointed as they are headed home early Michigan fans headed home early as they kind of start to trickle their way out of the AT&T Center but the Wolverines say that they are still proud with what they accomplished this season including setting a Big Ten record for five straight Sweet 16 appearances Staying connected. Um, coach said the best in the locker room. Um, battling adversity and staying together. Um, that's what brothers do, and that's, that's one of our core values of family. So I think we did a good job of uh, sticking true to what uh, Michigan basketball is all about this year um, and, and staying connected as one. There were times when we were counted out. There were times when people didn't feel that we deserved to be here, and these guys rose to the occasion and proved that they earned the right to be in the NCAA tournament. So uh, hats off to my players and staff. Now a big question looms ahead for the Wolverines as they look ahead to another season and the future. Will Hunter Dickinson return for that third season or will he go to the NBA? That it's up to his, him to decide and Dickinson and Eli Brooks were the only two players in double digits tonight. Jack? Yeah, it'll all depend on whether he's going to be a first round pick or not. Thanks, Marley.